Good evening, boys and girls. Our story this evening is 10 Little Caterpillars. It was written by Bill Martin and illustrated by Lois Elhert. Bill Martin has done a lot of like the Brown Bear, Brown Bear books. And Lois Elhert is a great author herself, but this time she's just the illustrator. She just did the pictures. All right, 10 Little Caterpillars. Here we go. The first little caterpillar crawled into a bower. And this says wild rose, so that's the type of plant that caterpillar's climbing up. A wild rose. The second little caterpillar wriggled up a flower. This is a delphinium, a gardenia, a foxglove, and snapdragon. I like, snapdragons are one of my favorites though I do love purple. You can see where the caterpillar's been eating. The third little caterpillar climbed a cabbage head. So here's the cabbage. There's winter squash, a beetle, and a toad. Lots going on in these pictures. The fourth little caterpillar found a melon bed. This says watermelon, muskmelon, honeydew melon, and ladybugs. Now I know what a watermelon and honeydew is. Muskmelon, I think is like cantaloupe, the orange kind. I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to look that up. Hmm. The fifth little caterpillar sailed a garden pool. So this is an oak leaf a maple leaf, and a poplar, poplar leaf. Poplar is a type of tree. So those are the different leaves in the pond that he's floating in. The sixth little ca caterpillar was carried off to school. Went to school. Now this is monarch chrysalis. Monarch eggs and milkweed plant. Milkweed is the favorite of monarchs, so I wonder if this is supposed to be a monarch. And there's a spider. Well, we have caterpillars here at school. Some people find out in the wild, and others are bred and sent to us like the ones we have here. The seventh little caterpillar met a hungry wren. A wren is a type of bird. This is a thistle plant, there's a dragonfly, and a grasshopper. So the different caterpillars like different kinds of plants or trees. The eighth little caterpillar was frightened by a hen. This says winter squash. Doesn't tell us what kind of hen that is. I wonder if our chicks that are hatching are going to look like that. I don't know. The ninth little caterpillar fell into the sea, and this is a sea bass. Oh, no. You know what that means. If it fell in, can you say lunch? Poor caterpillar. But that happens. The tenth little caterpillar scaled an apple tree. Apple tree branch, apple leaf. And there's the caterpillar. I wonder what kind of apples this is supposed to be. Hmm. It doesn't say. There's lots of different apples. And hung there patiently, tiger swallowtail chrysalis. So there's the chrysalis. There's a cardinal. So caterpillars become chrysalis or cocoons, depending on what species they are.
until by and by the 10th little caterpillar, apple boss blossoms, oh, and a bee, starting to come out. Became a butterfly. Look at that pretty butterfly. And this says, but butterfly bush. I'm not going to be able to pronounce this. Is it budlia? Budlia? I'm not sure what kind of flower that's supposed to be. It's a butterfly bush. And there are special plants just for butterflies. They like the ones that are stable. Give them a good spot to land and drink. Oh my goodness. Number one was a morning cloak caterpillar. It feeds on leaves, nettles, and wild rose leaves, and it turns into this kind of butterfly. And the second was a buckeye butterfly. Feeds on a variety of leaves, including snapdragon leaves. Turns into a butterfly that looks like that. Ooh. Let's see. Number three is a cabbage looper. Devours leaves, likes garden crops, turns into a moth. Okay. The yellow bear caterpillar chomps on tree leaves and leaves of garden crops. It turns into a Virginian tiger moth. The yellow-necked caterpillar feeds on tree leaves and turns into a moth. So those three are all moths. Not all caterpillars turn into butterflies. Some of them become moths. Okay. Oh, it was a monarch butterfly. And it eats only milkweed leaves. Those are really pretty. The painted lady caterpillar feeds on thistle leaves and other plants such as daisies. It turns into that kind of butterfly. And then there was the woolly bear. They say to look at the woolly bear to see how fuzzy it is. That tells you if it's going to be a really cold winter or not. That's the story. Eats many low-growing plants, grasses, and weeds, and it turns into an Isabella tiger moth. The common wood nymph caterpillar feeds on grasses and woods, meadows, and fields and turns into a butterfly like that. So we've got another moth and another butterfly. And then there was number 10, if I can get the page to turn. There it is. The tiger swallowtail caterpillar eats shrubs and broad-leafed le tree leaves. It turns into a beautiful butterfly. How about that? So we got to read about what they eat and how they change into either butterflies or moths. I hope you enjoyed that. Well, that's it for tonight. Good night, sleep tight, and happy dreams. Bye now.